Okay, so I ran across a uh, program that I thought I would share on the YouTube machine because it is audio-visual. Um, I'm using Vista because it's a Windows program and yeah, I fail. I'm using Vista. Okay, um, so anyways, I do a lot of RSS feeds, lots and lots of RSS feeds, and I came across this and I thought I'd give it a go. So I had to reboot to Windows and uh, it's called Vitamin D. Vitamin D turns your webcam into a security camera. Now, what I think is fairly cool about this is that uh, one time I was at a uh, what do you call it? Uh, thrift shop, thrift shop, and um, I came across um, a hardware version of this, and I sold it. Um, I sold it on eBay for like three hundred and something dollars, right? So anyways, I have a laptop that somebody gave me. It's an i5, but the screen's busted. So I figured I'd just hook a screen up to it, put a VNC client on to it, and, uh, you know, uh, remote into it, and just use it, like, for that, and I could hook up a, a, you know, camera to it. But anyways, so the bad part about this is is that the, it, the free version only has um, 320, uh, by 240 resolution. The paid version is $49, but that's not bad considering that if you have a quad core, you could probably it could probably handle up to like 16 cameras, I guess it says. Um, as, as see as many as your computer can support, and then it says uh, video recognition requires intensive processing by your computer. Blah blah blah. Um, a quad core should run up to 16, so basically it's probably about 10. But um, Anyways, it's a free version. Can't beat it. I'll use it for a laptop, and you could use that for anything. I mean, if you think about it, uh, I mean, cat, something's getting into your trash. But I have lots of computers here, and it's lots of money that I've invested over a long period of time, and so, yeah. But then, then again, what if somebody stole the computer that it was on? Okay, never mind. Um, so. Yeah, what's cool about this is, as I was playing this video here, as as you can see that there's these green boxes that are uh, uh, silhouetting um, anything that moves, and you, it'll it has recognition for people and for objects, obviously. And so, so there's that, um, you know, a little red car went by, blah 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 blah, uh, and. Uh, but the cool part about that is you can see right here it says 132 results so that's uh, that's gonna save like a wicked amount of hard drive space versus hooking up a camera and just recording continuously I mean you can't beat that so I don't know um, it's worth a shot if, if that's I mean if if you're on if you want a um, uh, video surveillance system um, on the cheap you know uh, that you know would be a good solution but anyways um yeah you know you know what I mean yeah just saying uh uh yeah so then there's this um DSOPA I have to throw in the SOPA stuff because the government's trying to take over everybody's freedoms and oppress the oppression of the man is coming down so yeah, anyways, what this does is just, um, they have a database of uh, potential sites that are going to be censored and um, black holed by, uh, um, if SOPA gets passed. And so what this does is that this communicates with with that database and, and then creates a, uh, uh, a cache file and, and then, you know, um, you can type in the Pirate Bay and go to the Pirate Bay if you want. Anyways, I'll throw a link to that and you can just... Um, read it and I totally suggest passing this on tweeting it or whatever the heck I'll really share it um, that would be cool so yeah um, vitamin D this is this is pretty cool and uh, I'll throw a link to a uh, uh, hack in the box and um, the vitamin D website uh, yeah so ba -dee -ba -dee -ba -dee, that's all folks stop stop